Look at you go. What are we having for dinner tonight? We're having a rice and quinoa mix, mix real, like with red, some red pepper, pepper seasoning and stuff. And then we're having a pork with some garlic, like chutney stuff on top of it, roasted. And a little bit of salad from yesterday. Peter worked from home today. I woke up sick. Um, hopefully it won't last very long. Um, I just got like a sore throat. I'm like a wuss when it comes to sore throats because I never had them often when I was young. Like I think I've had strep once in my entire life. I don't even remember it because I was little. Peter's had strep like how many times? Um, probably like three times every year of my life. Yeah. So um, we kind of took it. Well, he worked. I took it easy today. I mean, I worked too, but just you, not you as... Slept in. You slept until almost 11. Right. Just to get some rest. Yeah, and that's why the vlog went up later. But tonight we're also going to take it easy so that we can go to bed early so that Peter can finally do his 18 mile run tomorrow morning. And it's good for you to rest for, with your potential strip. Yeah. Evers, how are you real? You're literally so beautiful. There are two extremely important pieces of responsibilities that I do every time I go to leave our house during the holiday season. One, it's fire safety. Turn off that real Christmas tree. And two, from the back of the tree, you must grab a candy cane to have in the car ride wherever you go on this holiday night. And tonight we're going shopping from a gift card that my grandma gave us for Christmas. So I'm gonna grab a candy cane to enjoy. So, I feel like we never actually shop for us. We don't, and it's weird because my grandma, we're making my grandma's year by asking for bulk stuff rather than Macy's because she always shops in bulk, but we don't have bulk up north. So instead of shopping for us, she gave us a gift card, and she was super pumped. And to add to that, Peter's grandma's also very adamant about like when she sends you something to like use it on yourself and or stuff like. Stuff that we don't need. Right. Stuff that you don't need, but like. We like literally haven't like updated a lot of our stuff since, since we, we got, got married. married. So we're like, let's get some fresh towels and throw away all our other towels. And the rest like, of it we're gonna spend on us. Yeah. But, but look at these things. Cheese straws, pecan straws. We've been sent cheddar cheese straws before straws. and they were the greatest thing I've ever eaten. Sriracha. And look at that sriracha. I want this, 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 cranberries, peppermint, more of this, cheddar cheese. So delicious. Also, what was the um, what's their slogan? Modern Southern. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, our location has changed. Back to the car. And we're far from the store we were in. We are. Where are we headed, Peter? I don't even know. I'm gonna mess up the name. Jeter Bend? Mm-hmm. When I lost my ponytail somewhere in the, in the store. So don't mind my hair. Two. I think we're just gonna let the street do the talking for itself. A light on Judah. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. You can Welcome tune in in your to car. The lights on Jeter Bend. Proud participant in that 2015 Great Christmas Light Fight. 11 homes decorated and synced to music, lights, projection, water, and fire. We turn back around to see it all again. Look at that snow. Smoke, it's real smoke. Tell me a little bit about the neighborhood. Well, we kind of started out as a one family and added a couple more families every year, and now we're 11 homes. Oh, wow. Yeah. How many years have you been? 11 guys? homes. Initially, he came over and I told him to get lost. <laughs> We're back for a third time. Let's go. 
I guess one of their um, like sets or like shows is to wishes. We I saw it on Instagram. We couldn't handle seeing it though. <laughs> We're home and Eve is bonkers. Oh gosh, she needs her water. We're gonna watch Yes Virginia and go to bed. Because tomorrow's attempt number, what, three? <laughs> yeah. But first, we're going to do two quick magical mails we got. So the first one is from the American Cancer Society. I won a fundraising challenge in the month of November. And it was these cute ears. Look at them. Ears with ears. Ears with ears on them. And they're like hard yeah. and styrofoamy. They're cool. So we, we knew this was coming. Knock it off. You wanna go to the other one? Yeah. The other one we thought we heard it was coming, but we were we had no idea what it was. But it's from our friends over at Country Thunder. This is crazy town. And we haven't talked about this a whole lot since we got it, but we're doing like a partnership with them come March. Yes. Yes, come March. One oh. Country Thunder. Oh, Eve doesn't like boxes. But it's a Country Thunder Christmas card. Cute. It says Happy Holidays, Country Country Thunder Music Festivals in the back. And it says Peter, Sarah, happy holidays. Wishing you a wonderful holiday season and a joyous new year. Thank you for your continued support. We're so excited to be partnering with y'all. Y'all. We can't wait for March. The Country Thunder family with everybody's <laughs> names. So, this little box came with these little coasters, which are cool. Oh, those are koozies. Let's say Florida. Aren't those cool? Kissimmee, Florida, March 22 to 24, 2019. They're like Country burlap National Circuit Finals Rodeo. I wonder if that's going to be going on there. Oh my gosh. So two koozies. Great. Four of these Country Thunder stickers, which are great. I'm going to put... I gotta, we got to find places to put these. Yeah. We need a laptop to put stickers on. <laughs> only. We that's need the, a laptop. That's the only reason period. why we need a laptop is just to put stickers on it. These the four nice. of these Country Thunder are really nice. Sarah used to print these. She knows quality. Maybe, uh... Maybe they'll go in the future book card box. Ooh, and then we each got, will you hold one of these? We each got one of these really nice quality t-shirts. They're all black. Just say look. Country Thunder. Is it, what does the bottom say? Country Thunder Music Festival? Yep. Country Music Festival? How many Country Thunder shirts have we bought in our days? In our life, probably 17. <sighs> yeah, hundreds of dollars easily. worth. Yeah, 17 or 18 uh -oh. plus... Two, plus <laughs> He's pulling on my jeans. Plus baseball hats, plus koozies, Ow! plus mugs, plus Ears! a couple sweatshirts. I think she got a sweatshirt once. I'd usually get tank tops. Yeah. But someone's sick, and then we're also going to bed early so I can try to get up at 3 a.m. for my run. Are we not talking about our weird day or do you know? Like, I feel like... Oh, she's talking about... Yeah, I've been, like, off... This whole month I've been off extra about the whole infertility challenges we're having yeah. i don't know if it's that i always envision and i know life doesn't go as you as always planned but sarah and i are really good planners and we're really good executors and we when we set our mind to something we achieve it always have something like fertility you can set your mind to all you right. want but you're still at the hands of your bodies and everything yeah. so i thought um like when, age, we'd have multiple children. we've been together since 16 so I, we thought that by 25 we'd have at least two who knows, by 27, and I turned right. 27 on Wednesday. I think so. it's your birthday. This but month has been think, extra challenging. Um, so Thanksgiving of 2015 is when we decided that we would... <laughs> you just got up on the bed by yourself. <laughs> um, She's so nuts right now. She's Thanksgiving, like, what are you guys doing Thanksgiving of 2015 is when we started trying. Like officially. Officially. So like Thanksgiving kind of always has that like, it's like the another, landmark. A whole another year. A whole another year has passed. And like Christmas too. Like you always think, oh, next Christmas we'll have a baby. Next Christmas we'll be pregnant. And next and Christmas this is, we'll be buying little little presents and clothes. Yeah, this is the fourth Christmas that, um, even though the first Christmas was only a month of trying, it's yeah. still like every month hurts. Yeah, and um, you know anybody or talk to anybody who's gone through this, like whether you wait one month or one decade, yeah, it's still tough. So I think it's just like so those those numbers are kind of just making us off. And I don't know today, just some days it hits you harder than others. But then you got this little pumpkin. 
And honestly, we probably would not have had her had we not been going through the infertility. We got her about a year and a half into it. So we just needed a little life to take care of. And that's what you were. Eve takes care of me. Let's get this straight. Sarah takes care of Eve. Eve takes care of me. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be home. We love you guys. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>